this time of crisis. There are so many positive things happening in our community. We feel strongly that you need to know about them. We're gonna be hosting several lives interviews with leaders who are helping to do just that. Joining us tonight is Julie Thomasma, the CEO of Child and Family Charities in Lansing. Julie, thank you so much for taking time out to join us. And there you are. Hi. Hi, How everyone. You thank you, Bob, for having me tonight. We so appreciate it. Julie, let's start out by if you could explain what Child and Family Charities is all about. Well, uh, Child and Family Charities is a pretty large organization. We have six divisions and over 24 programs. Um, so obviously, we have a lot going on right now in the community. So what are some of the programs that you help out with? So we uh, are helping children, youth, and families um, in a variety of ways. We have, um, right now, uh, we have case management services, foster care supportive visitation services um, going on. Um, we have our, uh, oh my goodness, so much going on. Uh, we have intakes going on for mental health and substance abuse. Um, treatment services, and we have our 24-hour residential services. So with Angel House and Gateway, our, our um, shelter. For so you. We're in the middle of a pandemic, uh, Julie. How do all these services take place, even in the midst of the COVID-19 virus? Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, I was so proud of our team because we were absolutely ready for this when it hit, um, because we, were, we could go mobile right away. In the last year, we had actually been building our technology infrastructure. Uh, the community foundation had given us a large grant um, to purchase laptops for all of our child welfare team. And MSU, FCU came through with a very large laptop donation this year. So I'm happy to say that every staff that needed it has been able to secure a laptop. And we've also been able to give them to our amazing foster parents to make sure that our kids are connecting with their parents when they're at home with them. So it's been, I mean, it's been incredible everybody. So child welfare went mobile. Um, like I said, we're still doing intakes and um, for mental health treatment and for our substance abuse treatment. And everybody who's been needing to do visits um, virtually has been able to do that with family members and um, their therapists. So it's been great. Thank you to MSU FCU for that amazing donation. I know that's really helped you and it's continued your services. So everyone's doing it sort of virtually right now, which the world is virtual right now, right? Yes, our whole world has been able to, like we've been able to completely go go online. Um, the only services we are still providing um, services face-to-face -face because we do operate two residential programs. So we have Angel House, which is located in Mason. It's a mother baby program um, for moms who are in foster care. These are young kids who are in foster care. So we have 11 moms there right now and their babies. If you can imagine, um, they are all there 24 hours a day um, and our amazing staff are going in. And so we have just really amped up precautions and we're doing screenings for all the staff who are coming in. Um, obviously right now in the state that things are in with staying home, the, the youth aren't going anywhere, their babies aren't going anywhere, and we're just able to keep them safe in place. Um, what do you mean, how can we help? If we're at home tonight watching this, is there something that we can do if we're able to help you out? Well, uh, <laughs> we honestly, so we also do operate our shelter, which is uh, our Homeless and Runaway Youth Program. And so they're out in the streets. They have the street outreach team that's been going out and delivering um, food products and making sure that all of our families are connected to the services that they need. They're also doing intakes into the shelter. Um, so we do need protective equipment. We do have some, but it would be helpful if anybody would like to donate in that way. Um, they could reach me at child or Julie at childandfamily.org um, through my email, or they could also um, call our main number um, and reach me at extension one two three. Julie at filed and. Family and child.org. We'll make sure that we put that in the Facebook link as well. That so would be wonderful. What kind, what kind of items though? Um, also, face mask. We do have plenty of gloves, but any type of protective gear would also be helpful. We are very fortunate right now. We have not had any kind of outbreaks at either one of our residential facilities, but we are preparing um, and making sure that we have our staff have everything that they need. 
And so as we know, there's been shortages. And so if anybody has that type of equipment, it'd be very helpful for us right now. Julie, is there a need for monetary donations right now? Of course, we are operating 24 hours a day. Uh, we've had to increase our staffing levels. Um, obviously, we're taking care of the kids um, when they're not at school. And so we have had to really increase um, a lot of the services that we're doing and the case management services and outreach. So uh, of course, we can always use the monetary support. And we do have a donate now button at our child and family uh, website. But we're working with many partners. And so, uh, you know, I'm so thankful. We've been working with the food bank. They've been giving us donations. We're working with United Way. I know they're coordinating quite a bit in the community. So we're just very fortunate that we have a community coming together to make this happen. Well, we appreciate everything that you're doing, Julie. Thank you so much. And we'll make sure that we put all your information on the screen uh, on our Facebook page so people can get in touch with you. And, um, you know, it's, it's really important that you are there and, and helping because the need continues even in this uh, crisis. It, it absolutely does, yes. And our staff have not missed a beat and I'm so, so proud of them. And our foster parents have not missed a beat. So we are still thankful for them right now. Tell me a little bit about your staff. How are they, how are they protecting themselves? Um, well, we are doing screenings. So we, before we're having any type of encounter with anybody, we do have um, screening precautions that we're asking them, making sure that the people are healthy. We're also taking temperatures and wearing protective gear. All right. Julie, thank you so much for what you do. Continue the good work. Again, we'll put your information on the screen and uh, mm -hmm. uh, you have a good night and uh, carry on that good deeds. Thank you, Bob. So appreciate you guys and passing it forward. Thank you for keeping things, things positive in our community because there's a lot of wonderful, wonderful things happening right now. And a lot of people coming together. So Even thank you. In the mid of crisis. So I appreciate you, Julie. Bye-bye. Very much. Thank you. And if you'd like more information, you can always visit the Epiphany Now website, which is E-P-I-F-A-N-Y-N-O-W. It's a very unusual spelling, but means that you can have an epiphany right now to change your world and the world around you. And of course, we'll put that uh, information on child and family charities there. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next time.